guys good morning um today is uh, i supposed to cook rice but my outlet here is not working so i believe i have a bad outlet so today i'm gonna show you how to replace uh gfci it's called that outlet is uh designed for kitchen and on those uh, areas that are always exposed on water or moist or in outside uh, outside wall so anyway um as a disclaimer i'm not an electrician but um i'm confident of what I'm doing and I know basic wiring so if you guys are not comfortable doing this at home then don't do it because it's dangerous so you could hire a electrician or who have an idea or familiar with electricals or electricity so anyhow um before i do this job just basic um <coughs> i have this uh voltage tester so what it does is will test our outlet there's a current so one then this one too we have a receptacle tester so receptacle tester what it does is uh, if you re uh, put the wire and if it's uh wrong then it will tell you that the, this light will indicate that your wire is put in a wrong way uh, it's a there is a current you know with this outlet so how would i do it okay going on okay so it's on now there's a current so it's dangerous so what you're gonna do is go outside your house look for your panel board and turn off your circuit breaker okay so it's gonna be look like this so it's like that so every panel board design is different but something like that so another thing is uh, if you don't have the hose, then you could use your appliances. So I have a blender here. So if I plug it in, and turn it on, it doesn't work. Yeah. So something wrong with our something wrong with our outlet sometimes it's the outlet or uh, the wiring sometimes it loses so how would I know that this is a problem then you go to your other outlet which is right here and show you that this is working because you see the light from from my microwave so it's on be sure to plug it in okay then this. so we know already that this outlet this outlet is bad so if you don't have tools, use your appliances. Okay, guys. So just before touching that, I'm going outside to turn off our billboard outside. Okay, we're gonna show it. And that's the circuit breaker right here. So you look for flags or utility. It depends. 
who wear it but i know for sure that mine is under blood or utility so now i'm going to shut it off to start working on that um, on that outlet Right, we're back inside so again double check after you shut off your your circuit breaker check if there's a current still on your outlet that you're going to fix so i'm checking right now so no no sound so check other outlet so no sound if you see already here it's gone no more light so we're good to go so we're gonna start um, replacing the recept receptacle or outlet. <laughs> So we have current now because I turn on the circuit breaker outside and let's see our outlet if I we put it right. It worked. That is easy now. It's time for us to put it back. But if you're not confident, then turn off your circuit breaker again outside to reinstall that one for safety. I turn off the circuit breaker outside so test it again so no no card time to work so we're done guys uh, before I forget uh, before you replace this um, it says 20 amperes AMP so that one, that guy right here is 20 amperes too. So, basic idea. If you're 15 amperes kind of outlet, then change to 15. So, this one right here is 20. This guy right here is 20. So, that guy is 20. So, that's it, guys. I hope this simple replacement would give you more confidence of doing your simple electrical installation uh, in your house so once again this is mr basic bye guys <laughs>